Hello, this is Irin from Variety Gamers UK, and this is me continuing my, well, what my third chapter of Medieval Conquest, so <laughs> let us begin. <coughs> so, I definitely don't want an army of just that, so we're going to double up. Yes. So they're coming from all the way from the bottom. Okay. So we could probably at least... Build from the bottom, I guess. This level does not seem huge. Like the last two. But it might be hard to stop. It very much probably is going to be hard to start. That was a big B. So let us get these people to the village and we're going to summon a second lot. What you got to try today? Oh, that was battle group size. Well, that was a bad idea. So. There we go, we've built the shanty. So let us... Double our army. At your service. Oh, damn it. So, I definitely did not catch the oh, Windows key yes. then. So, we are fine to continue. <laughs> That is definitely not another one that I need to edit into one video, which is a pain. Right, so we know there's some stuff coming from this direction, because we already know there's swarms. So let's get this over and done with. Now I've just had technical difficulties. Let's see if we can get far on this one, because this might have been the level I got stuck on before. So I might be a little bit worried about how well I can do. But I did see the swarms come from this general direction, so maybe... Maybe there's some easy stuff for us to start on. So I do not like my chances. And I can't even build a sanctuary yet. I really need to stop building that battle group 2 thing. Ran into some of them. Gonna time spray while we're exploring the area around our base. Oh, this ticks! Yay, that's a plus. First things first. I don't know where to build that, so we're going to ignore that for now. We are going to use these guys to find out how far our base can go. Before we build it out, because last time we struggled because things kept spawning next to our base and attacking it. So I'm basically going to use these guys to explore around it, check and make sure everything's fine. 
Make sure we've got some room to build before we actually build. So we've got a we've got a um, tick nest down here as well. So we can't really build left or right, especially at this moment. At least we made a start. Still haven't figured out shortcuts because it's the same day. At least I've got my money back from spending it on that really terrible stuff. Just don't want to be caught in the same position as last time where I expanded my base and struggled because I expanded my base. So while we're exploring and whatnot, we're going to kill the ticks and like explore out. What I'd really want to do is build a hotel. <laughs> so we're gonna speed up. And explore a bit further out again. Uh oh. Oh, bigger ticks. Hopefully we do alright against these, because they're bigger. So they're more powerful. Uh oh. Retreat. Oh, wizard retreat. That wizard is an idiot. He needs... Oh god. No, why has it gone to full speed? For some reason, my game just sped up a lot quicker. I don't even know why. My keyboard wasn't even touched. So we just lost a wizard, so we just lost part of our bonus. Ah, uh, yes. And that wasn't because of that. So, <clears throat> yes, this is going to start really well. I don't think we even have a sanctuary, that's probably why they didn't run away. But we are going to be silly. So we've kind of figured out that we can build down to a point. So I am going to put on times one. I'm going to send these lot against them so they can level. And I am going to stupidly buy a bloody hotel down here. <coughs> so now I can now we can start off with the biggest right possible out. army to start with. Hopefully ext extend from that. Maybe get some more money upgrade building straight away. We need to pull that wizard back so we stop getting him nearly killed. So we're going to build a sanctuary just there. No one's been attacked at the start yet, so obviously I think down is safe. So we've got that wizard running over there, which is fine, because it's low days, so I'm not too worried about pulling away too much. Now we've got a big army. 
we can work on stuff. He wants some, apparently. He needs a stun to battle better. Well, we'll deal with that when you get me more money, my friend. The moment you get hit points, which is also a bonus. And there's a lot of you people. I've just got to figure out where I can build stuff before I build stuff. That archer running around is pain. So now we've upped the speed a bit more. Okay, we're fighting. Apparently. We're gonna actually explore down. So we've got someone going back to heal, even though they're not even that healed. Damage, to be fair. Yeah. It seems like we can go back. Uh oh. I don't dare open that now. Knowing my luck, it could be very terrible. I haven't really got the money to rebuild it, so actually I've got an idea. You're going to build a tower there, then we'll open the chest. Where's the chest got down there? Sod that one person's run off. They don't get the chest if it's anything good. We found gold, so that's a plus. If you're wondering why I built that tower, it's just in case it was a dragon. Because that instantly destroys a building. We do not want this and that at this stage of the game. Especially with something like the hotel, which I gambled with. So, that explains that. What? We're going to continue onwards, see what's to the south, see how far we can expend, extend our empire. Because so if we can extend it pretty far, it's pretty good. I think we've got pure number advantage here. We do. So we can extend down. Seems like we can extend in a smart in a straight line at the moment. So that's all right. Because considering I've got that one, I may as well get the next two of the other two good ones, but the problem is it's expensive. But if we keep farming the low levels around us, we should be alright because they'll give us the money we need. And these guys are more likely to complain about lack of food or, you know, and oh no, my weapons aren't powerful enough to defeat level 1s, so we're going to extend down and keep building all the big buildings, so next we're going to do Grimshaw's pub, and we'll do it there. So now all we need is the entertainment place.
because the biggest mistake we always make is not checking where your enemy's positionings are. So for some reason one person's already there and fighting, all the rest are just walking very slowly. That helps. I'm guessing that archer is already running or something. Well now everyone's running as soon as it's dead. So yeah, this is going to be a really slow start, but it should be a lot better than the last start. I am definitely hoping. I'm going to gradually spread out. Because obviously we're doing this with not very good items. Because I haven't built any item shops, so my heroes are not getting any better really. I think the hit points go up, that's about it. So yeah, she's at 39, so... And what's... The high equivalent? The high equivalent is of 5. 31 hit points. Oh, but then again, that's... They're a bit low on hit points, to be fairly honest, so... It's probably more than... That. So... Oh, is that archer still running like a... Absolute moron. But at least we're making some money to start with, which is always plus. Alright, we're going to speed up a little bit. Just to get over it. Yeah, it definitely does speed up the... We did lose a hero though, so it wasn't the best start ever. Oh, there's skeletons up that tree. That's nice. I wonder how the ticks got them up there. Here we go, everyone's coming in now. I'm just leaving it for that one archer. Ephlem Quillcaster, I'm assuming that's him. Got the lowest hit points, that's for sure. Right, so since the other place is a bit quiet at the moment, I'm gonna explore a little bit. I'm gonna explore one out further. You know, we'll probably kill that. Yep, we'll kill that on the way around. Didn't see the need to slow it down, there's only one. Oh, keep respawning. Ticks probably do not know what is best for them. At this point in the game, not respawning. So we're trying to keep it safe because obviously low level heroes means we could have a problem if we run into some remotely high level. So even though we're getting level bonuses we're not getting any item bonuses whatsoever. But we should be fine this side of the river. Oh god there's a tree. Oh god run. Oh wow. Yes. Right Good, run. <laughs> yep, we service. messed up there. We completely messed up there, but we took down a tree.
Hi. What's up? Um, I am recording at the moment, but I can talk, I guess. At your service. Okay. Why is this bad? You know what? Yeah. Was it any good? I'd say so, yeah. Okay, okay. And then I've got some German cream, I've got some Sounds good. Okay. Yes. Yeah, I, I just remembered I was like cracking this kit up. So I was like, quick do it, I'm a box in the middle of the week. <laughs> you're alright, you know the cat, you know the microphone don't really pick that stuff up, so you're fine. Yes. Yeah. Don't blame you. Medieval Conquest. Oh. Spoilers, I'm on chapter three. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. This one seems smaller than the last one though. Seems pretty much straightforward. Apart from the fact I've run into giant trees, but you know. Oh. Just gotta cut them down. Okie dokie. Yeah, um, you're at the. Right, what? Yes. Thank you. Oh, yes. No problem, I'm assuming that's still normal time. Yeah. Okie dokie. Yep, I can do that. Thank you. No problem, see you soon. Thank you. Love you too, bye. And that was Emma Surrender. As everyone who probably watches the channel already knows. Alright, so. We are going to wipe out this population of ticks. While we. Collect my tax collection from Chicago years ago. And well, we build our ent oh no, we can't. It's twenty thousand. Nightmare. And the spawns seem to be dying off. Hmm. That's quite scary. Actually, we know we can beat the trees, just get them concentrating on one person and then run away. I don't know if we want to actually re rely on that. Uh oh. Uh oh. Don't know if we will constantly want to rely on that tactic. We did beat another tree though. Whew. How is everyone actually looking? Like, oh, why are they all so bored? That means we're going to have to do it. Right. I'm gonna put it on one. We're definitely gonna have to buy that. Buy Sheila's. Oh god. Don't think I've got enough room. Well, it seems that. The spawn down in this corner has actually died, so we can hope it stays like that. We have actually now bought everything we need 
but it seems like the spawns for our low level creatures have stopped already which is not a good thing we can now start like preparing but we haven't got a lot of place to go from that considering the earlier spawns have stopped it's like we can do lever lever armor for the fighters so we're gonna shove everyone down here and if they go back to base they can go back to base for a little while that way we'll get some money, which won't get a lot, because that's the only spawn point that seems to still be spawning. Which is not great, but that's how it goes. Flower fires level five. So we'll stock a levers cap as well. So we'll get them slightly better stuff. Because then that's one unit taken care of. With a bit better defense. This seems to be the level I struggled on. I won't be surprised because of the fact that the trees are so powerful and close. My tactic at the moment seems to be working. Once I've got my units the base armour, maybe that will keep them alive long enough to not struggle too much what against the it? trees. We can hope. We just gotta hope this take spawn point keeps going for a bit longer because we've gone for a bit of a gamble getting the most expensive buildings in the game but that's fine could also be a bonus if that spawn point keeps going but if not we do have a valid tactic Yeah, it's definitely spawning a few. And our base does seem to be defending quite fine. So we've got that not to worry about. I know you need fancy robes. Slowly get my buildings. You can my friend. Never have enough armor, eh? So you will get there eventually. Well, my rangers won't. <laughs> they seem quite expensive. Well, we just killed another tick, so you can never have ticking along armor, nicely. Eh? Because I'm a pony bugger. So we've just increased our ranger's defense. Then once we've increased our... Mage's defenses. Defensively, we're a bit better off. But I still think we're going to struggle. Especially considering three of the four spawns have disappeared. I 
And I'm not entirely sure this spawn is going to stay for long. Or even any longer. Well, at least a little longer by the looks of it. A lot of people complaining about not having the right spells, but at least they get fed and have a good place to sleep and can get healed. <laughs> Can't really go anywhere while well, they're not all back yet anyway. Now we've got an archer going back for better armour. Don't know what that armour actually Why, does, hello. but you know. Don't even tell you what stats it gives them or anything, but you know. What is it? I know, I know they need better armour. That's why, that's why they're killing ticks. So they can slowly build up their armor supply. Because <laughs> uh, this level seems awful for low level mobs. That's why I'm pretty sure it's the one I got stuck on. Pretty sure. This is me being strategic. This is also a terrible start, but you know. Don't even know what level them trees are. All I know is they take a long time to kill at this level. And the fact that we know they're quite common around. And the fact they've nearly killed multiple of my heroes already. <laughs> It's not good. Gonna have that there because it's, it's a nice small building. Get them some fancy robes. There we go, we've got better robes for our wizard friends. And then what's next? Accessory shop. It's only a thousand, so at least we can get our. Wizards and Rangers, some nice accessories in a minute. Should keep them happy. While we wait for the spawn to come. Now our range is complete and probably about a quiver, yeah, so. <coughs> I'm not sure which way to go. I'll be honest, at this stage, this is quite terrifying. Because there's only 20 that I need to collect, but that means there's at least 10 each side. And I don't know if that tick spawn is. Yeah, it's still active, good. That's the only thing keeping us going now. So it's nice that it's still going. And it's nice that numbers seem to be uh, quite effective. 
get some trees if I just retreat the one person that's getting attacked. So we get a bit of damage, we're not in a place where we can not do this strategically. Hey, another tick. That means I can actually build that accessory shop. We all pop it. There. Wands and quivers. And it's apprentice one that they want. And it'll be a quiver of quickness they want. Oh, Quiver Quickness is really expensive. Okay. Well, now people are all complaining about weapons. We're getting there. Don't you worry, people. We're getting there. It's just... Slowly but surely. Now you need better weapons, but you're going to have to wait. Because that's just the way it's going at the moment. There's a tick, yes. <laughs> it's like the best gameplay ever at the moment. But, what do you expect? Games usually get harder. The second one was pretty bad, but that's because I was surrounded by multiple places. Did not want that to happen again, and that's why this one's going slower. Because I am being more careful, so I don't get into that kind of issue again. So I've pretty much turned that game around, because that game was a bit of a terrible start. Now we're having a really cautious start. Oh, tick. Yes. Kick in and ticks, they're going to help out. But our armies seem to be coming back now, so we are going to be a bit more... Brave! To a point. I need to turn the speed down because that sensitivity does throw me off a little bit. Every time we get there, a tick seems to spawn. Because I just want to slowly explore the area as well. I don't really want to run into any more trees. Shame them purple ticks have gone as well. So yeah, we've got a tick there, but we're going to do a bit of exploring first. And I'm not going to put the volume uh, tap the speed up, because that was scary enough last time. So at least we've got three videos. We've got one for this week. Well, one. F I've basically done three videos this week, because last month I was a bit terrible and did three without. So I've got a video for this, for... This week, which is the 3rd of December. Then one for last week, which would have been 10th of December. And this will have been put out on the 17th of December. Or, well, knowing me, it'll probably, it might even, it'll be the 16th, maybe. 16th, 9th, and 3rd. So obviously, since I'm recording on the 3rd, it'd be insane for me not to put them out that day. How are my um, tick fields looking? What, two ticks, I think. Which is alright, because it gets our... Oh god. Oh god. This could be anything. People, what are you doing? Oh, what are they? They bees, or...? I do not know what that thing is. At your service. It looks like a beholder. Wandering Eye, level Anything 10. Well then, you can attack it. Doesn't seem to do a lot of damage, at least. So he wandered into a Wandering Eye. Which seems to take more damage than... 
we deal. But we've got some ticks, so we're going to go and attack some ticks. And luckily our accessory is done. Wands and quivers. So that might help us kill things quicker. Because 1,400 for one bloody quiver is shocking. But we probably need it. And it'll at least stop my rangers from complaining a little bit. And it'll increase the effectiveness of the team at least a little bit. So luckily we've got some ticks to kill and there's some spawning in so... We might soon get some weapon shops up and running. Which is the one thing we need. So yeah. So we're going to continue exploring up here now. Because no one's decided to run off yet. We are levelling up, we just... I think it's the fact my character's levelling up, they've got the hit points, they just don't have the um, damage. So we're going to find the difference between that and this soon enough. So we know this Wandering Eyes over here, which are level 10. Which would be good when we've got an upgrade in weapons. There's a tree. Whoa! That one went down pretty quick. What level is that tree? Seven. Yes. We actually... Our wand might have helped. Oh god, there's another one. Why, hello. A little bit away. Your Majesty? Okay, there's two trees there. That is kind of terrifying, but we survived our armor and wizard ones are helping. The wizard ones seem to improve the magic at least. So the trees seem to be a bit more flammable, considering it was burnt down by a fire spell. There's another one. Wow. Is it another seven? Yep, yeah, it's another seven, luckily. Don't know what it's targeting, though. It seems to be targeting a fighter and doing a good job of damaging the fighter, surprisingly. So move the fighter away. Oh no, now it's targeting someone else. Your Majesty? Right, so, bringing the party back, we've had some injuries, they can go attack that, them ticks, but because now, we're starting to get weapons. I'm not clearing these trees yet because the trees are a bit of a pain, uh, yes. so, you wanna buy a weapon? so now we have... No weapon because they're really expensive. <laughs> well, we'll get them soon. We might get them off these three. We'll let you get one. So that's still improved damage. The so more damage we do, the less damage we take. So in theory, we're going to be in a better position either way, especially considering we've got more fighters than anything. So, our fighters are going to have a boost. And we don't even have the quiver yet. So we've got death dealers. We've got people going service. to get them as well. We've got people going to heal. So we stopped exploring up here. Oh no, it was there. You can tell. So we'll continue expanding our horizons and seeing how far our village can expand. It's not really a bad thing. Oh, we don't even have all the accessories we need. So this will help. 
Right, everyone's had a taste of town, so anyone that doesn't want to go to town yet can go and fight ticks. But this should definitely improve our chances now. Which is good, because we need it. And apologies for this video, it's basically three parts of... Because I had a bit of technical issues, but I think I did say that straight after, so... Oh look, there's a tick. Get it. Let's take another one down. So... Our fighters have the swords. Looks like our wizards have the ones. And not a lot else of people have a lot of else of anything else. Still don't really want to go off without everyone because we're at a point where the more damage we deal at once, the better. I have noticed one thing though. So you wanna buy a weapon, eh? Yes. <laughs> Apparently, some more people want to go buy accessories. Why couldn't they have bought them earlier? I think this Your guy Majesty? might want to buy a hammer. Dagger and a common. What? Oh, there what? is actually stats on stuff. At your service. What is it? At your service. At your service. Yes. I'm trying to click on a wizard, but I don't know if there is one. What is it? Your commands? What can I do? Can I help you? You're your not a wizard. There you go. You're a wizard. So I don't think their armor what does anything. I know my adventurers need better weapons. They are on the way to getting better weapons. They just can't get the Fang of the Cobra yet, because you know I need to get my art, my... Rangers and Mages some actual weaponry as such. But my wizards seem more powerful anyway, because of their... Sorcerers ones. So we are going to continue up here, to be fair. Nice. We'll go past the tick on the way because that will let people catch up. Or kind of. Kind of not. Yeah, now we've got more of an hour formation, so there'll be more people getting there than not. When the, when did that person go back for the weapon? Oh, what a pain. Well, even with one less person, we should be alright. 
because technically most people do more damage now anyway. Because tick fields seem to be all ticked out. search here kind of like equal it out a little bit it'll go up whoa why does why the really large formation I don't even get why they're going that far out the way. That's better, rain it in a little bit. Ooh, speaking of which, my adventurers see a treasure chest. Could be useful, could be really catastrophic. I'm hoping it's what not catastrophic, because at this point in the game, service. I cannot be doing that. Oh god. Of course it'd be catastrophic. To be fair, everyone's got their stuff now, so... Uh, I think that was the weapon shop, though. Yay! Joys, dragons. Slightly annoying, that. Could have been worse. Yeah, my adventurers also need better s shops, considering one has been burnt down. Oh, yeah, it was only armour. That's alright then. Could actually rebuild that right this moment, but I don't see the point. They've already got their armor. It's a bit of an annoyance that that dragon came out. What the hell is this guy doing? Your Still majesty? studier. There is something apparently orange around here. Oh, is that the older thing? Loads of people probably complaining about not having good enough weaponry. Can't help it, I'm in bad luck. I'm in a very bad run at the moment. So yeah, there may be a need to attack them. Tickfield still seems to be going, so that's also an option. Trees seem to have a better chance now, and that's before I got the new weaponry. So that's another plus. So I'm getting there. Definitely, I'm getting there. Just need my heroes to behave and stop going awkward directions. Because we've got a tree to fight. It's like once we start sticking it into it. Yes. Whoa, you got pretty hard hit then. Yes. The tree has been level 7 are still pretty hard. Oh, here we go. Got another tree. Come on, stop going out too far, you morons. Cannot fight like this. I think he's chasing a wizard, luckily. Whoa, 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 whoa you idiot. What 
Is it? We don't really need any hero deaths at the moment. So, be careful. We've already got to rebuild the building shortly. Got a fighter weapons, now we need a ranger weapons. Uh, send our people back to kill some ticks. All the weapons are stupidly expensive, which doesn't help. Yeah, but that fighter is too damaged. That fighter is not in a bad, not in a good way. So I'm speeding up to kill this Groove takes. They have come up to come up to a quite nice place. <laughs> that fighter decided against attacking them, apparently, because it's really low on hit points. We've got a short bear velocity. Now our bowmen can go get bows. Because they are intelligent. So while my heroes go and gather stuff, I am going to save the game and you guys know what that means. So this has been Aaron from Variety Gamers UK and this has been Medieval Conquest. Thank you for watching and happy gaming. What a terrible f